Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today with a really fun marker challenge that one of you guys have suggested to me in last week's Saturday video. So you, one of you suggested to go ahead and do the highlighter challenge where I take a bunch of highlighter markers and I use them to color something. I think that's as simple as the rules get. I'm not sure, but this is basically a five marker challenge because oh my goodness. So I actually think that Bailey J and Kat Valk both did this similar highlighter challenge, but they had more special looking highlighters. And all I had was plain old Sharpie highlighters that were laying around my house. So it's kind of like, the sh it's another Sharpie cheap art supplies challenge, except with highlighters. So when I was thinking, what in the world can I make for these highlighting colors? Cause these are the obnoxious highlighter colors that you would get for school and I really, I mean, I have experience. I used to doodle in school with my highlighters, but I never colored anything with them and I never considered coloring anything with them. So I was just thinking about it. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I created a character that's a unicorn that's based off of a Lulu Row. Thing that I saw and I feel like I've already talked to you guys about it about this particular unicorn because Lila Row is a clothing brand and the the leggings or these designs that you see they call them if there's only like one or they're super hard to find like rose leggings or something like that Disney roses or something then they're called u unicorns so Somebody posted on one of the Facebook pages that I follow of Lulu Row, if unicorn, if a unicorn wears a tutu, how does she wear her tutu? So I created a little Lulu Row unicorn character wearing her tutu like this. So this is basically just a replica of what I made, except the one that I made, she did have blue hair and blue hooves. No, she had pink hooves, but her skin was super light pink and all I had was this obnoxious dark pink highlighter <laughs> so i'm not gonna lie it was really hard working with these highlighters and using them to shade because with um alcohol based markers you could kind of like let it dry and then come back and you can go on top of that and that's considered shading but it was kind of working with the highlighters not really they weren't they weren't built for this <laughs> kind of project. I mean, they're there to color and to make uh, things stand out and go over words, and but they're not made to actually color characters with or do artwork with. And it amazes me that all the people that I watched that did the highlighter challenge, it's amazing because they all managed to make masterpieces with these highlighters. And it just, it amazes me. And it, I mean, kudos to all of them or any person that tries to make art with highlighters because it is a challenge and it's hard to shade and it's really hard to build up on top of it because like, cheap art supplies and cheap markers it starts to rip up the paper and i had really thick strong bristol board for this project so you just had to be careful with using highlighters because if i were using computer paper with this project it would have ripped it up completely but oh why did i draw macaroons i don't know i was just feeling i love macaroons how many of you guys leave in the comments down below if you love macaroons there's this place that i go to that's in charlotte called Amelie's and it is the best place to get macaroons in my opinion but then again I've never been to France and actually get a macaroon <laughs> but I love macaroons and I thought oh, well you know all these bright colors you know macaroons tend to be bright sometimes so why not go ahead and draw macaroons with the little Lulu Row uh, unicorn and I know I'm pronouncing it Lulu it's Lula Row but I just Maybe that should be her name, Lulu, or something like that. It should be Lulu, but I don't know. What do you guys think I should name my little unicorn character that's based off of that question, if a unicorn wears a tutu, how does she wear it? And yes, I did want to go ahead and line her with a little bit of black lining, but I didn't want to outline the whole thing. I just kind of wanted to give it a little standout-ish, and plus I wanted to give her eyelashes. So yes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fun project. It, I mean it, it was a challenge because I mean, 
all I did was doodle all over notebook paper with highlighters and never thought I would be doodling a unicorn with four macaroons. But you guys should totally try this because it is fun and it is a challenge and you just don't think to pick up these different supplies and make something with them. But yes, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday. Once again, leave in the comments down below if you love macaroons. And what should I name my cute little uh, Lulu, Lula Row unicorn? <laughs> but yes, guys, have a good Saturday. Bye!